<sighs> let's uh let's go take a walk you clicked you clicked on this video for one reason and one reason only am i in the 99 percent am i part of that big group that's ruining my life chances are you probably are Close your body language. Don't give anybody the impression that you are talkable, that you can be talked to. Don't give anyone that impression. Hunch your shoulders, walk around, looking down, listening to that depressing music. Don't look at anybody. Keep yourself closed off from other people and the world. Check your phone, even if you don't exactly know why. Give in, let your phone control you. Every time you have those moments where you double click, swipe up, you get rid of that app, that social media, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, just so you can tap on the app and go on it again. Make this the normal. Any time where you're on a one-on-one -on -one moment with some other person, that awkward moment, bring out your phone. Just pretend to do something instead of talking or socially interacting with the other person. Make it so this is the normal so you don't know how to interact with other people. Be late. Never ever take appreciation of someone else's time. Never ever be prepared. Always turn up to things late or if not, barely on time. Because I don't care about them. I'm, I'm tired, I wanna get five minutes more rest in the morning. I'll get there and it doesn't really matter if I'm five minutes late. Let other people have the impression that you are simply just not prepared for life that you don't have a grab or a good hold, control over your life. And even so, if you're late, all you need to do is make an excuse. Excuse, blame, blame, and blame it on somebody else. It is never ever your fault, even if it is. Never ever take responsibility for anything in your life. Always put it onto somebody else, that it is someone else's fault, never yours. Still the spotlight. Just as the same as it is never your fault, no one is as important as you. Oh, your friends. Oh, that's uh, that's a cool story, man. Uh, but my story is better. This crazy thing that happened to me is better. Never ever let anyone else have the spotlight. Always keep it on yourself. Never really take your time to really care about anyone else. And if you do ask how somebody else is doing, it's not because you care, it's just because they asked you. And slowly, and slowly, bit by bit, those friends start leaving you. But you don't know why. A wish. You hope, you wish, you dream that things will be different. One day, things will change. Things will be different. Everything will be different. It won't. Nothing is going to change if no action is taken. Yet you wish, you dream, you hope that one day everything will be different that you don't need to take action. The upside down. Always, no matter what, take the path of least resistance. What's good is bad, and what's bad is good. You convince yourself of this. You let your body, you let your mind give in to all the bad habits. Convincing that they are good for you, because you know that they aren't, but you simply don't want to quit. Because you are terrified of the harsh reality of this world, that it's over. You haven't got another shot. And that, my friends, is the fastest way to completely ruin your entire life. How many are you doing? On a serious note, I hope things have been good. If you got to this part of the video, this is the end. And that means maybe something isn't completely okay. I really do hope things are alright. And who knows, maybe this simple click, this simple video could be the key to actually helping you change. There's another video that's going to pop up in the corner here, and maybe this one can help you too. And subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Stay consistent, and don't give up. Self-improvement kiss.